Welcome back to Pattern Pool TV. I'm Monica. This week, Alora and I did a fun collab with Spotlight Australia, and Alora designed this fun beginner friendly textile art. Head to the Spotlight website to download the free pattern sheet, and if you use letter size paper, just print the sizes to fit. Can't wait to see what you do with this project. So let's get started. I've created a free project sheet that you can download from the Spotlight website with all my extra hints and tips for making this project. So head to the Spotlight website, download and print your project sheet. There are 16 pages for the applique. The first page is a design placement for reference. And then the last two pages you have to join together for the stems. So for this project, you will need general quilting tools such as a cutting mat, ruler and rotary cutter, one meter of background fabric, we're using pink, two meters of fabric for the rest of the project, a pack of warm and natural batting, fusible webbing, needles and thread to match. You'll also need a sewing machine in good working order. You can pick one up from Spotlight, they have a fantastic range. And some other things you need are an iron, an applique mat, safety pins, a walking foot, scissors, a lead pencil, wired twine and a pole to make the quilt hanger. So the first step is to cut out. You're going to need a rectangle of fabric for your backing. You will need a rectangle from your batting, that's the same size as your backing fabric. And then you're going to need a rectangle for the top. Now that's a little bit smaller than your batting and backing. You're then going to need some strips for the binding and another strip to make a rod pocket to be able to hang our wall hanging on the wall. So next, trace your shapes onto the fusible webbing. We're using Visaflex Bonder Web. So fusible web acts like a glue. So once you've traced out your shapes, cut them into smaller sections and line the rough side of the fusible web onto the wrong side of your applique fabric. And don't forget to use your applique mat to protect your iron. I've taught you well. You have, you've drilled it into me because oh. I always forget. <laughs> I have. <laughs> now cut out the shapes, cutting neatly on the line. And this is my favourite part. Arrange the shapes onto the background fabric to form the design. And use the design placement as a guide and feel free to get creative with it. And now it's time for stitching. You can stitch around the edge of the applique shapes any way you like. At this stage, you may want to blanket stitch by hand or machine and even zigzag around the edge. But we're going to skip straight to the quilting step and we're going to layer together our top with our batting and backing. We're going to hold it together securely with pins and we're going to do a triple straight stitch around the edge of the shapes. So get sewing and have fun with it. And remember, this is a quilted textile art, so feel free to get creative and sew however you like. And if you do decide to just stitch the applique shapes through the top layer, when you finish that, then you can put it together with the batting and backing. And to quilt it, all you have to do is just outline around the edge of the shapes. Add the rug pocket and finish your quilted textile art with the binding and it's ready to hang. And it's as easy as that. And don't forget that all the detailed step-by-step -step instructions are in the project sheet that you can download for free from the Spotlight website. <laughs> 